the market outlook. So, oh, where's that? So the S&P, S&P 500 right now, we got the SPY futures up. We saw this long-term uptrend break earlier this year, very early in January. And now since then, you know, if we look close, we're just, you know, we're in a short-term downtrend. Every, every time uh, stocks pop into this resistance area right here, we immediately sell off. We're seeing a big sell off today. And you know, there's a lot of uh, macroeconomic news going on. This, uh, you know, before, before this Russia Ukraine stuff, we were dealing with uh, huge inflation levels and, and the Fed tightening and those type of things. And then this kind of black swan event came in where uh, Russia is invading Ukraine, which is only going to put more pressure onto that inflationary environment, uh, make the whole supply chain system even more constrained. So, you know, there's a lot of things working against the market right now. Uh, we're in this short-term downtrend. We're seeing um, craziness out of, out of the oil market, really. This is kind of a once-in-a-lifetime move we're seeing here. Uh, you know, it's up almost 40% in a couple weeks or whatever that number is from 90 to 130 real quick. Uh, and then I, t I saw today, uh, another thing is uh, this nickel. Look at these nickel futures. I've never typed up nickel in my life. But mm -hmm. I've never seen a move like this also in my life. Nickel's up 70% today because it's predominantly mined in Russia. And oh my um, God. for wow, electric is... vehicle batteries and things like that, um, they need to they need to use a lot of nickel. So, you know, people are thinking gas prices are high, it's good for electric vehicles. Well, not when uh, nickel you know, <laughs> rises 70% a day. Yeah, um, look at that. So, I mean, other than that, we're in this downtrend. We're seeing, uh, you know, stocks continuously sell off. What are you thinking over there, Bennett? No, so I'm looking at this this nickel futures and it's just like the nuttiest chart. It's um, nuts. Yeah, but I think even like with the like, we really don't talk much about commodities, but I guess we will for the moment. Um, again, like the you know crude oil at yeah, you know, I guess it's like 120. Uh, I don't know if it's going off for power or not, but we talked about it earlier when it was like we were joking in the chat earlier today. We're like we should have been buying it at a penny a barrel uh, back in like April 2020 when it was the opposite end of you know right the oil trade right now, but. Uh, it seems like a little blow off topish. I think, you know, just the action like today, like it was up, you know, 10% plus over the weekend and it slowly kind of came back. And again, 40% or 30% plus in a couple days is not really a sustainable move, but among all the sectors, energy definitely has been the strongest sector this year um, because it was one of the worst performing sectors in 2020. And that's like that broad rebalancing that you know, last year's losers often are this year's winners. And we're seeing that more so with just consumer discretionaries and technology that were like the, you know, the prom king and queen of, you know, March, 2020, up until basically then of 2020 and of 2021, those both were the biggest leaders. And now technology and consumer discretionaries are kind of two sectors that are getting beat up pretty badly. And we see that just with overall leaders when they have this, you know, three, four, five percent run up they can easily revert, you know, pull back 70% of that overall move very quickly. And that's something that we're just starting to see. Um, again, very, you know, pretty bleak out there. Again, biotechs have been very weak as well. Um, technology, I mean, uh, telecom has been the weakest and kind of showing us, you mentioned that downtrend in the SPY, the telecom sector is showing us that same exact downtrend, much more um, exaggerated because it's been going on for longer than the broad market has been pulling back. But when you look at the, the move that Telcom has had from you know the 2020 lows up until the 2021 highs, we're pretty we pretty much retraced about 50% of that overall up move. And is are we gonna you know could we see that in the broad markets? You know that we don't know. For now we're just in this downtrend until we you know start to base out. 